A judge cuts damages on Samsung's behalf on their trial against Apple. Nokia looking for new design technology soon. And Sony's 1080p device now rumored until the summer. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you can bet that I'm waiting for the Barcelona vs Real Madrid game tomorrow. This is Pocket Now Daily. Now even though a jury granted Apple a couple of billion bucks in their Apple vs Samsung trial recently, a judge now states that apparently the way things were calculated was wrong. It has now decided to return $450 million in damages to Samsung, even though nobody's actually even paid each other yet. But the interesting part is that apparently this judge is also asking for a trial again in order to look at these cases once more. It's kind of interesting because if you didn't know, a couple of days ago the UK judge that forced Apple to apologize apologized publicly to Samsung, was actually hired by Samsung, uh, for some reason. Uh, no comment on that. Now let's move on over to Nokia. Rumors have the company working on new design technologies for their future smartphone lineup. Among these changes, one of them is that apparently they're working on a catwalk codename design, which will be an aluminum-only smartphone that should come to T-Mobile eventually, though that's kind of interesting since AT&T has always been their US launch partner. but. Well, we'll see how that ends up, but another rumor has the company working on water-resistant technology for their next Lumia smartphones and OEMs everywhere. If you're listening, every smartphone should be water-resistant. I mean, if Motorola and Sony could figure this out, everybody should. And speaking of Sony, the company has proven that they can go completely absent from MWC 2013, and even though we did see the Xperia Z smartphone being launched at CES 2013 when we were there, we were expecting this 4.8 inch 1080p display, sorry, 1080p display smartphone to be launched at MWC, and it sadly did not happen. We're still not sure why, but new rumors have the company working on this smartphone for the summer of 2013, so all of you that were waiting out there, just get the Xperia Z. We don't I don't know if this device will ever make the light of day, but we'll keep you posted. And now let's talk about carrier unlocking after the petition was formally presented to the White House about a week ago. Well, the FCC chairman has now come on record to state that yes, he will have a look at it. He is very interested. It is very important for this to be dealt with. And according to the chairman, he stated that, well, this would hinder competition. It would hinder innovation as well. And it would also hinder your pockets to be stuck to a contract or to be stuck with a device. You can actually just get another device and resell that one. But we'll keep you posted on how this happens. Let's just hope it happens during the Obama administration or else we'll be stuck to AT&T's clutches and T-Mobile's clutches as well eventually. And finally, for the weirder and weirder news of the day, more rumors have Apple working on a cheaper, thicker, and made a polycarbonate iPhone to be launched at the same time as the flagship iPhone. And well, this device apparently would also be bigger than the current generation iPhone, which is just completely weird. I mean, think about it. Apparently, this device will have a 4.5 inch display and the current generation iPhone as a 4 inch display. It's completely an opposite to what Apple does, but hey, these are desperate times. So that leads me to the question of the day. Do you believe that Apple would ever change their design or product launch mentality by launching this bigger device or this could just be another product that we don't know about? Historically, Apple has shown us that they work differently. I mean, the iPad mini, the iPod shuffle, the iPod nano were all smaller products than their flagships. And so was the case of the 13 inch MacBook Pro being smaller than the larger generation flagship MacBook Pro. But I mean, you never know, Apple could change their mind anytime and new products could come to town next year, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? I think it's a new product. I don't think it's a cheaper iPhone. Of course, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. As always, thank you very much for watching. See you on Monday.